Boss, did you know I was born around here? In the high steppe? It is where I got my eye for horse flesh, because this is a good land for horses. Although a hard land for men. I suppose that's why the Kurgids like it. So you're not a Kurgi. You're just a dude who grew up very near them. You're another tribe! Cool! Tell me more. Well, Kurgids have always lived here. Even back in the old days, as the Emperor gave them the gold and lands to keep out of the other tri keep out the other tribes. I'm told my grandfather was a Kurgi chieftain, although my mother didn't know him. And any more than I any didn't know him any more than I knew my father. When my mother was a lass, the Kurgids started coming over the mountains in large numbers, and now there's a Kurgid Khan in Tulga. They go easy on us farming folk. Don't ask for much tax. Not that we would be able to pay in any case. The land isn't good enough for most crops. Frankly, it's only good for horse rearing, and that only for the, and that only for half of the year. In the winter, after the rains, in the summer, they take their herds back into the mountains. Caravans come over the hills and bring spice to Tolga. But we don't see much of that money down in the villages. Hmm. I was unaware you were a Kurgi badass. Or, oh god, okay. Thought maybe you'd been swallowed up by these steppe bandits. Don't you dare go for my little caravan. By the way, we're taking a caravan to uh, Tolga to stop a big Vagir village from absolutely despising me. In fact, yeah, it is a Vagir village. It's Vacheg. I always just think it's Nordic because in any of my other playthroughs, and the only person that's ever been able to take that is me and not the fucking AI. So uh, it's sort of terrifying that the Nords took such a beating. It is on dangerous ground. Like if the Nords do go to war with the Vegas and the Vegas are in a good position, which they were. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird to see it happen so early. Well, we have almost reached Tolga. Blah, 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 blah. Give me my money. And to renown for doing that. Interesting. I didn't expect renown. And there's a tournament going on. And I didn't save! Fuck! I always forget to save and then you can't go back once you've, like, um, already hit join the tournament. Oh no! Oh no, it's a Kurgi tournament! Which means horse archery is, uh, going to be a big old thing! How do I use this as a weapon? Like a stabby stabby weapon. I have no idea, I need to check my controls! Are you gonna save mid-fucking fight? I never, ever knew that! Throughout my entire playtime, I had no fucking idea. Okay, um, weapon. No, 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 no. Mode is X. Okay, there we go. So we'll switch this to be a big stabby stabber. There we go. Oh no, you have actual bows and arrows. That's so much scarier than my throwing weapons. Nice hit though. Did no damage, but it looked brutal. Man, I wish these javelins were half decent. But they are the opposite of half decent. They are full shit. <laughs> but they look nice. Alright, there we go. Let's throw a thing. Oh, I thought I'd have a... Him? Definitely him. Not a her at all. I hit the side of his fucking shield. Oh, oh, oh. That's one. Beheshta's on my team too. I didn't even notice. Don't you dare go for it. What you can do is, I guess, just trap them in a corner and throw endless javelins in their faces. Yeah, goodbye. It's be Oh, Beheshta knocked down Costa Spice's arena. Not on my team, just in the fight, killing people who aren't on my team. I got a headshot on a horse. Now I feel like a dick. Oh, you ain't going anywhere, my friend. You ain't going anywhere at all. Fuck you, regular fighter. Get a real name. Damn, he turned when I was about to hit. Ah, oh, and he just about got a shield up in time. You look familiar. Are you Borcher? I mean, you won't be for very long, but no, okay. You're a just a veteran Kurgi fighter. Fair enough. I do like that they change up the... um. The fuck was that, you tiny penis cunt? Get out of here, motorbike man. But yes, um, I do like that they change up the models for every single area you can go. So, oh, Serena took that right to the face. Good girl, that's how I like it. There we go. A little more, huh? 100 dinar. To make a, oh god, another fucking tournament like this. I'm so bad with the throwers, or the, with throwing in general. The throwers is not what I meant to say. She has a little knife. Who uses a knife on horseback? How are you ever going to hurt anybody? Oh, headshot by Bides Arena. Oh, yeah. Kurgi tournaments do tend to be some of the hardest. But then again, you do get accustomed to it pretty damn quick. And they miss just as much as you do. Because horse archery is... Oh, my God. That was a terrible miss. Not even my fault, that one. It's just that our crosshair is so fucking big. How many have I got? Like, 35? At least they never give you any danger of running out. Like, javelins on the actual field. 
You tend to only have seven of them, I believe. And while you can pick them back up, for sure. It's just not so easy. I kind of want your bow. I didn't even have my shield up and you hit my shield. You silly boy. Get up. You silly boy. S silly boy. S silly. Die. Thank you. Oh, God. That was a champion. That was a javelin sticking right out of my fucking shield again. Oh, that was it. Okay. Interesting. We're going to be fine. We're going to be just fucking fine. Oh, I don't want to lose this. And we got a bow. Please tell me I'm actually... <laughs> please tell me I'm not better with a throw... With throwing... Ugh, with throwables? I don't know what to call it. With javelins, I guess we'll say. After all that complaining, if I turn out to be way, way, way worse with this, I'm going to be very sad. I'm getting a couple of hits, I guess. Horse archery is so fucking cool, man. Oh, headshot. Maybe I am. I'm not bad with a bow at all. Better than with a crossbow, that's for fucking sure. And again, they did give us, like, unlimited ammo. And with bows, you don't need to constantly reload in the same way you do with a crossbow. Hell, maybe I should get a bow. No, you fucking don't. Oh, they're blunt. If you look at the front, they've actually made the practice arrows, like, really blunt. That's cool, though. I like that they thought of that. Huh. Ah, die, damn it. Yeah, we're constantly just having our boys taken out and their boys completely fine. And I can't land a single shot anymore. Unless I fucking cripple them over here. I can take the damage. Just sit here and keep missing with your tiny fucking blade. And I'm going to catch us up in like the next two seconds. That's all I need. No, die. Damn it. Okay. 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 Oh, you're still trapped, huh? You're staying right here. At the very least, I'll be able to get you. And don't you dare murder my horse. My little practice horse that I'll never meet again. I love him. There we go. Oh, what a shot. I'm really liking this. I know I'm going really slowly and it's not in the spirit of horse archery in the damn slightest, but it's just these massive multi-man fights here are so fucking cool. Don't you dare, motherfucker. Oh, that's right. I'm on you now. Oh, and I took out Rolf. I'm sorry, Rolf. You literally only just joined the team. Your first action in battle is <laughs> me murdering you. Uh-oh. Yeah, right in the wang, I believe, too. Here we go. I don't know how it calculates shot difficulty. I'd like to know so I can hit really hard ones. I've hit from miles and miles away before, and I've got up to like an eight. I think I have the achievement for hitting like a really difficult one. But uh, I think that's 12 and above. I don't, maybe it doesn't even go up to 12. I don't know. That's what I remember, but my memory is notoriously awful. So, ah! no, no, far too fucking fast to hit with my fucking aim. Yeah. Oh, I'm beating up his horse. And now you're trapped again, my friend. So enjoy the hellfire. Enjoy the endless rain of fucking arrows. Here we go. Let's block out the sun with our single one-by-one one arrow over and over again. I can't believe we won that. We were doing terribly to begin with. Eight participants remain. Two teams with three fighters each? What, so the other one is just one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, fair enough. I must admit, I've never been a Noyan either. I don't think I've ever been- or maybe even an Amir? No, I believe I've been an Amir once. Uh, so I've never been a, a Count in the Rodox. Never been a... I have been a Boyar. I'm trying to- I'm just trying to think of, like, what I've done in this game in the past. Because I tend to, like, if- because normally I'll do, like, one big campaign, finish, and then go away for a long time. Um, so I sort of just come back, and then I'll just do what I'm used to, which tends to be either the, well, mostly Swadians, because I really, really like the Swadian Knights, which means, which is why I'm sort of trying to mix it up here. It's why I'm annoyed, but I'm not going too far out of my comfort zone and just not knowing what to do in the slightest with the troops. Hey, a lion went down. Get fucked, a lion. No one in the team likes you. And that was a massive headshot. I just wish the fucking things would stay sticking out of them. That'd be beautiful. It doesn't fucking, um, it does with shields. Why like can't in just anything? So sad, so sad. Come here. Oh, well, that was a bad move, wasn't it? I mean, the exact same thing is going to happen to me for sure, but get it in your ass. Come on. That's another one down. Okay. Beautiful. Good job, Hired Blade. Now, let me knock you out before the next fucking round. Oh, it's a sword sister. Is this the, is this the last one? Two participants remaining. One on one. Me and my sword sister. I think what that must mean is they, is the enemy team... One of them did a friendly, a big boy friendly fire. Because it didn't say Sword Sister took him out, it said Hired Blade. Okay. It's another amazing thing about Kirby tournaments. You barely need to try, they'll just kill himself. Oh my god, I've only just noticed the character models up there. That's disturbingly horrific. Switch up to uh, first person, maybe I'll have more of a chance. And we can throw far. We just can't throw accurate in the slightest. Come on, damn it. 
I mean, just a little bit too far. And to be honest, she wasn't even jumping that way. Don't know what I was thinking. Get it in your goddamn face, please! Oh, there is so much fucking distance you can get in that fucking crosshair. So hard, but apparently that's the end of the fucking tournament. That awful display of patheticness. You've won the tournament in Tolga, blah, 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 people like you. And we made a shitload of money, so we can't afford to pay our bills. Talk to me, whoever you are. I'm just a traveler. It's kind of nice seeing, like, um, all the taverns and shit in first person. I prefer the taverns down south where it's warm, like Kurgit Land, which is partly in the snow, but you know how it goes. And Sarinid Land, etc. Uh, mercenary swordsman, don't really need you. Oh, you're not even having a feast? That was just a tournament for the sake of a tournament. Oh, the bastard's moved around. I guess he just goes from feast to feast, the hungry boy. Oh god, that's not what stairs should look like. But I do indeed have legs, which is always a good sign. Do like having legs. What if there are any Noyans hanging around here? Or even better, the Khan. Sanjar Khan. What a badass. Oh, and it's because no one had actually arrived for it yet. They're all, unless they're just leaving. Maybe they're just leaving. I think that's probably the case. Waiting. What are you doing, Naz? Not not so gay or whatever the fuck your name is. Talk to me. Do you have any tasks for me? Nothing you would give to a fucking yarl. God damn it! That is the one annoying thing. It's hard to make friends with people once you're a yarl because no one wants any help. Is that like, ah, oh, I could not burden you with such a pathetic little task. You're just like, dude, give me something to do. We're not even at war right now. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get some- No, oh, can't get any Kurgits. Is it because my party's full? No, just no one wants to join me. Come on, Kurgits, I'm a fun guy. Oh, I haven't thrown Rolf up in the, uh, up into the companion slot just yet. Let's move you up there, buddy. You're gonna be level one for a while, but yeah, you'll be all right. As a lord of a fife, you can now appoint a chamberlain who resides at your at you court. Fucking hell. I wonder if this is a diplomacy thing, because I don't remember any typos in the main game. And it, like, they wouldn't be in for such a beloved game this late on. So, like, at you court for a weekly salary of 15 dinar. He will handle all financial affairs, like collecting and determining taxes, paying wages and managing your estate. In addition, he supervises money transfers between kingdoms, giving you more diplomatic options. Yeah! Yes, let's appoint a prominent nobleman from the area. Your chamber cha <laughs> chamberlain can be found at your court. You should consult him if you want to give him if you want to give him any financial advice or you need greater amounts of money. You should always make sure that there is enough money in the treasury to pay for political affairs. Fuck, that means I'm gonna have to go dump a load of money in my village. Such a tiny little village. Oh my god, what even is my estate? My estate is just that tiny completely barren area like what where is he gonna where's he even gonna go we don't even have a manor yet all right i'm gonna collect uh taxes for clogus and potentially not even pay him back because i am desperate for money right now and i don't know how much it'll piss him off sorry suno you're not my city so i'm gonna ignore you oh boy oh boy don't worry one day i'll claim you and tax you a lot less mm. and i'm starting to get right to rule and i am absolutely loving it dude uh, four dinar. Which poor arsehole did we tax that could only give four dinar in one of the richest kingdoms to ever exist? And again, how rich are they right now? Let's zoom out, see if they're at war with anybody. I think it might be at war with the Rodox. Something that's for six and a half K. And they hate me. Am I doing a job for you at all? Didn't I save someone's daughter for you? Troublesome bandits. Yep, I'll do it. Probably shouldn't have just accepted just like that because I have no idea where anyone is right now. Ah, well, you're right there. Okay, well, Suno no longer hates me because I'm beating up this old man. Oh, God. Why are you the bandit? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm Oh, God, I'm in fucking first person. First person to horsage is so fucking strange. It looks like you just have a really long, rigid dildo sticking out of you. It's disgusting. Oh, God. Okay, you're horseback bound bandits. They, uh, they scare me quite a lot more than the regular ones. Except maybe Sea Raiders. Sea Raiders are still very scary. I'm gonna try and take out all their archers while my- Oh my god, I'm leading their entire army! You idiots! I love just trading all these dudes. Oh no! Why won't the fucking horse boys come with me? Come on! It's only the regular infantry that want to follow me. Oh hey, look, it's our old man that likes to fight with us. Fucking what's his name? It's like Artemis, but it's not Artemis. Artemena, there we go. Our lovely siege man! Uh oh. No you don't! <laughs> I love that I just take no damage. 
Even when I'm in such a compromised area. Here comes Rolf! Oh, I'm loving watching all our companions go to absolute town. Beheshter is still getting beat the fuck up. Beheshter, you're high level now, man. The hell's happening to you? Oh, you little idiot. Wait, is that it? Is that everybody? My archers are overpowered. I've barely landed a hit in this one. Archers just did the vast majority of the work. I like having slave hunters in as well, because I think they tend to use uh, blunt weapons to knock them out and therefore, you know, allow you to take slaves. I'm going to add you to my ranks and potentially even recruit you. Because you're straight up bandits and I know that you can be upgraded in several directions. They've got their own troop tree, which I very much like. Leather jerk and Otay are two fucking horses. Absolutely, I'm taking that. And a better mace for me. Where I get an, an upgrade for myself from one of these dudes, especially when it's just bandits, short bow... The rest can stay. Uh, leave it to the item pool or whatever the fuck. Okay, who deserves a horse? I hate to say it, but a lion. A lion deserves it. He's a noble. He's one of the few who will be able to immediately. Especially when it's a sway-backed idiot. Um, so yeah, they're both the same. You can have this one. Uh, I'm gonna give one to Butcher. He has one. Gonna give one to... Beheshter. Mm -hmm. Marnid? Katrin? Artemana? Rolf? Rolf. Rolf seems like the combat boy of the of them all because, well, you know, he's a former noble, so that only makes sense. Yeah, have your little saddle horse, buddy, and uh, what do you got? Leather jerkin, leather jerkin. At least have this hat. You need some kind of protection on that big, beautiful face of yours. Uh, oh god, you don't even have a shield. Take this, it's terrible, but I don't have- oh, no, this is better, there we go. Don't have anything good for you, huh? It's a crude nasal boy. I'm also going to give you a sh- oh, you can't use that. Fine, fine. Javelins? You can use javelins. Good for you, buddy. What's better, javelins or arrows? Or axes? Ah, take those. They're bent, but who the hell cares? Oh, I have some pottery that I just haven't sold yet. I'm a moron. But he's sort of equipped now. My nid can have a little bit of an upgrade. And where are we going again? Oh yeah, we're immediately turning back. Why did I give you charisma? Oh yeah, to upgrade trade. Which you already somehow have, despite supposedly not supposed to be able to? I don't fucking know. Let's give you some ability in spotting. I haven't given anyone spotting yet, and we kind of need that, because our, our fucking ra ra uh, radius of vision is dreadful at the moment. And I haven't given you this. You already have a mace. Uh, take the spiked mace. I prefer that quite a fucking lot. And I'm, it's always a good thing being able to take more prisoners, so why the hell not? Another man-at-arms and another marksman. What the hell are the Vagir archers doing all the way down here? Where are the Vagir mar marksmen? No, you're some of our best ever troops. Go up there, you idiots. Uh, oh, we have five men-at-arms. They will be knights so damn soon. And lastly, Beheshta, the boy who can't walk right now. You're getting a little upgrade to your intellect. And we're throwing it into... You've already got power draw. You're a weapons master. Um, let's give you more in... Let's give, let's give you pathfinding. You're a horse boy. It, it, it only makes sense, right? I give him one hand and not fucking archer him a moron. Ah, but we hunted him down! Suno will no longer hate us, as far as I know. I have heard about your deeds! You've given those bandits the punishment they deserved! You really are as good as they say! Here is your reward. 120 dinar. I would like to give more, but those bandits almost brought me to bankruptcy. You happen to have any more? Ale, fuck off. Oh, you really are as good as they say. Now deliver ale like a bitch. No! Look at me. I'm a fucking y'all. You can't do this to me. Hmm. Traveler, crossbowman, we're out of here. I think the best course of action right now would be heading back to Mechen. How much, uh, how much money do we have? 9,000. That's the richest we've ever been. Camperans, who did I do this job for? Camperans, in which case, here is your blood money. Actually, we're getting the blood money, but I killed a man, give me some money, thank you. Actually, it's only 300. It says blood money. I can't accept it. I gain honor as well. You are a man for whom justice is its own reward, eh? As you wish it. Kairos Moongay, as you wish it, Kairos Moongay. As you wish it. An honorable sentiment to be true. Regardless. You're my thanks for ridding me of that dishonorable knave. Do you have any more tasks? We can't despin- What? So you're like, ah, I can't give a fucking Yarl of the Realm or Vassal of the Realm such a terrible task. It's like, well, and then, but then you're like, hey, deliver a letter. You, some of them just don't give a fuck, do they? The defensive pact between the Vegas and the Kingdom of Rodox 
has expired and was degraded to a trade agreement. Okay, when I saw the word degraded, I was like, oh man, they're not going to like each other. But no, a trade agreement is still fair. Ah, uh, recruit volunteers. One Nord recruit. Yep, why not? Um, meet the village elder. Do you boys need anything? I'm going to trade my own village. Oh man, that feels cool. I right, manage this village. Should we build a manor? We have Arda Manor now. It won't take very long. Uh, a watchtower, perhaps? But even if they have a watchtower, they won't be able to tell us about it if they don't have a messenger post. 3,200 dinar. And it costs us... Th it'll take 35 days. For now? No. We're going to go to the village. And I'm going to see if I can find my boy. I assume there's a light on in here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, they're together. This will be interesting. I've never really seen this. Chamberlain, Chamberlain Aubrey de Vere. Yes, sire. Uh, that's not your voice. Yes, sire. Hmm. Let us inspect the treasury. There are currently zero dinar in the treasury, and we have no debts. What do you want to do? I would like to pay into the treasury. Two grand. We currently have 2,000 dinars in the treasury. How much money would you like to pay in, sire? Hmm. Wish to manage the household. Ah, I can just put things in here, huh? Like storage. Interesting. Ah. Uh, how's this place doing? Tell me about Mekin. Village of Mekin looks wretchedly poor and miserable. The populace is indifferent to you, and the tax rate is normal. We're expecting 250 dinar for rents, and overall this sums up to 250 dinar. Hmm. Give me a report... It costs zero dinars from Fife and Garrisons. Okay, so there's no one there's no one being defended in Oh, we're not we haven't got anyone defending in here, so. Ah, uh, I have to pay you, don't I? You don't even like me, you dick! Um I might lower the tax rate until this place is more profitable. But I do need the money. Let's at least wait till they pay us the next time. Uh give me improvements. Yes, let's build one mechan. Build a school. I can't afford it anymore. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to do that. Whew. Okay. Just wanted to check the documents. Uh, and we can train these dudes, which is going to take... Wait, what? Oh, train the peasants. Gonna take quite a while, as it always does. So, I guess I will see you guys when our peasants are capable of much more. I won't get ripped apart by all these goddamn bandits every five minutes. Well, my peasant army seems to be faring quite well against these douches. There we go. Oh, it's so much more satisfying when you're defending people you fucking care about. Or at least, you know, make money from. So that, that helps. <laughs> oh, even Ottoman is going to town. Good job, you psychotic old man. I love it. We've done it. We saved our boys. And most of them died, but we saved our boys. Uh oh, 11 peasants down. Three killed on eight wounded, though, so we have nursed them back to health. The bandits are broken! Those few who remain run off with their tails between their legs, terrified of the peasants and their new champion. The villagers of Mechen have little left in the way of wealth after their ordeal, but they offer you all they can find to show their gratitude. No, you need these items more than I do. And they love us! And you belong to us, so you better love me. <laughs> A whole fucking ten! They're acceptive now! Uh, thank you, my lord. They do not need anything. How are you doing now? No war parties? Do you have any supplies? What do we make? We make nothing! Oh dear! This is why we have no money. Um, oh, I wish I knew how to give you some... How much cash we got on us? Nearly eight grand. Talk to Yargunda. Maybe I can ask him to defend my city for a little while. We meet again, Kairos Moongaze. I heard that you pledged allegiance to our Lord King Ragnar. Excellent. I am sure that you and I will become very good friends. But remember, if you betray us, it will be the biggest mistake you will ever make. What is it? Hmm. Do you have any tasks for me? In which case, if you don't have any tasks for me... Do you think we can work together to advance our standings in this realm? You cannot think of anything right now. 
But we will have some items of mutual interest in the future. Interest- I completely forgot about that option! Oh, we're gonna make some good friends with it, y'all! Um, hmm. I would ask him to defend my area, but that's probably just not a good idea. We don't have much authority right now. It, I mean, the, it, he is one of the few Yars that still has a party that could probably kick my ass. And again, not a single Huskarl. Very, like, a lot of dudes, but most of them low level. Maybe I, maybe I could kick his ass, I don't know. Right, is that- oh no, it's just your castle, fair enough, nothing to really do in here. <sighs> I wanna make- I wanna make Mechit a better place to live, but... When we don't have a castle... Or a lot of money... I can't really fix it on my own. Just trying to look at it, see if it- maybe it'll change what it looks like when we, uh... Improve its financial situation. I gave him two grand to pay any kind of political expense that we may have. Of which I assume there will be many. Man, I'm kind of wanting a war now. It's just not much I don't you fucking dare loot anywhere close to my village! Those are my people now. And you shall fall by my hand! <laughs> I'm getting far too into this. You know what? We're a Yarl now. Is that a beard befitting a Yarl? Are we ready yet? Are we ready for our face to explode with the luscious locks? I don't know. I don't know if we're quite ready for that. But to be honest... I do want a little bit of a change in, uh, aesthetic though, but I don't know if that comes from armor, or if that's gonna co come from an actual change to what my boy looks like. I'm thinking about it, because like I said, if you're sort of- if you didn't sort of watch the start of the series, I'm gonna give him a, a cooler beard as the series develops. So he's had this since he started out as a- a common mercenary, or just a, a boy working for a mansion. I wonder if we'll ever find that guy again. I know he's like, ah, maybe we'll meet again someday. I don't think I've ever met him again. But, huh, maybe it's possible. He just ends up being a rival king at some point and we fight to the death. I don't fucking know. But I like that guy. Good old merchant of Ravenin, dude who doesn't even have a name. Hmm. Hello? Wow. I don't know why I expected anything more. I guess because they are, like, at least Swadian level and not bandit level. But, wow, guys, you suck. Get in my prison. Oh, this is wankworthy. This is wankworthy. We got ourselves some Swadia Knights! My favorite troop. My favorite by far troop in the entire game, followed by a Nord Huskarl who can go right up behind him. Uh, slave crushers, please. Let's get those as well. Move them right above the, uh, the other slave troops. Where are you, slave hunters? Is that what upgrades to a crusher? Yeah, crushers are good. I'll put them above the men, men at arms, because I think that's about right. Sword Sister, you need to move up the ranks. Sword Sisters have amazing armor at the very least. I like how this little peasant man is following us around. What a cutie. What did you drop for me? Some coif. What an ugly word, ragged ankle boot. I'll just buy it to sell. There we go. We'll pick it up to sell. That's why, God, do we need the money? And it was a fine battle, Kairos Mukes. But, uh, what? Oh no, it's you. That was a fine battle, Kairos. Bahada! Rolf is a good man to have by our side in a fight. As for his other attributes, I doubt that he is any more a baron than I am. But I have to admire the brazen way he makes that claim. Very good. Yeah, I mean, I hope he's famous. I hope he is an actual baron. That'd be really cool if we could eventually, like, do something with that. You know what? Who's our most loyal companion? I think it's Borcher. Clethy have been with us longer, but Clethy fucked off, so it's Borcher. I'd like to ask you something, Borcher. Very well. What did you want to ask? How do you feel about the way things are going? Oh, you're happy about everything. What a good boy. Um. Hmm. Do you have any connections we could use to our advantage? Well, boss, as it happens, I have a few cousins in Ikema. And unlike some, uh, some in my family, they can still stand the sight of me. They deal in horses. I've even been able to supply them with stock from time to time. And so they get to pick up a bit of the gossip around the castles and the great halls of the Kirgi Karnet. Could go over there for a few days and tell you what I find out. Nah. We're not doing much business in Kirgi land right now, so hold off for now. But I'll keep that in mind when we're inevitably at war with the... With the barbarians of the Kirky Karnet. They're barely barbarians anymore. They were once. Now they're a civilized society who like to rip people's face off. Mm. Tell me about your skills, buddy. Let's make you even more charismatic. Wait, who are you? A lion? Uh, you're not intelligent. You're an idiot, pompous noble. But I guess I better give you more intelligence. 
It's to make sure you're a bit less pompous in the future. Let's give you some... You know what? I feel like you've been asshole trainer, but kind of effective. So let's upgrade your training for a little bit. And can I now give you some decent armor? Do we have any yet? Absolutely not. God, we're poor right now. We're not poor, just lacking in all the possible equipment.